my darling English tours. I hope your spring break was great. Um, ours was really quiet. We spent some time working in the yard. Super fun. Um, we are going to touch base back on argumentative essays. Um, so when we left, we were touching on a bit of propaganda. Now we're going to make the jump over to argumentative essays. Um, but don't worry, we're going to touch back on propaganda again. Um, so major thanks to Savannah and Nate, who both provided me with some really cool propaganda stuff. So thanks you two. All right, here we go. Article today is from Box. I know, super fun, right? And the title is Ticked Off, What Happens When TikTok Fame Fades? A social media app has never turned kids into celebrities or has been faster by Rebecca Jennings, February 27th, 2020, 3.30 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. Obviously before all of coronavirus stuff happened. Okay, so if you um, are more, uh, you enjoy reading by yourself, you don't have to watch this video. Um, you do need to read the article. It is linked there in our Google Classroom. However, if you're not fond of reading to yourself, I will be happy to read it aloud to you. Are you ready? Here we go. As he was entering his junior high year of high school last August, 16-year-old Sam Benarok had been about 166,000 followers on TikTok. It wasn't the sort of following that regularly turned heads in publics, but it was enough to feel special, like what he created mattered to people. Back then, Sam was having fun. He was making the kind of videos where you laugh even when it wasn't clear what there was, what wasn't clear that there was a joke to get. The videos were weird, like really weird. He'd put Carmex under his eyes so that he'd look like he'd been crying over not being able to spell the word coconut. He'd stack a bunch of Perrier cans on top of each other and make a little poem about it. He also invented one of TikTok's biggest memes last spring, Meet Rebecca. He'd hopes of turning his nascent fame into a career as a comedian, like how Bo Burnham has gone from popular Viner to a highly respected filmmaker. Six months later, when I meet him at a coffee shop near his home in Los Angeles and ask if he still wants to work in entertainment, he laughs. I feel like when I said that I might have been a, might have been high on TikTok, like, everybody finds me so funny. Now I'm reconsidering that. Sam, who went by the username Sugarman, doesn't use TikTok anymore. He took a break a few months ago that has become more or less permanent, so he had no longer DMs with his TikTok friends because it gives him too much anxiety. It wasn't negative comments that drove him away. Everyone has been perfectly nice. It was what happened when the views and like, which he had amassed over the course of nearly a year thanks to a few viral video hits, started to stagnate. Not getting the numbers that you want is so harmful, he says. It's scary because it's like this spiral of not ever feeling like you're enough, and that leaves this mental scarring. It's contributed to my mental health not being the best lately. Definitely had to get some therapy because of this. TikTok has created a celebrity manufacturing machine that operates faster and more powerfully than any social media platform that has been before it, turning average teenagers into international stars in a matter of weeks, sometimes days. For many kids who've experienced it, it's exhilarating until it isn't. TikTok fatigue is real, and it's not only limited to those who get swept up in its hype. Now, even users who downloaded TikTok as a joke are saying they don't know how to escape it. Here's a pretty good example of how addictive and important TikTok is in the hierarchy of most ardent span smartphone apps. TikTok launched in the U.S. in August of 2018, was downloaded 1.5 billion times worldwide in 2019, and is now so popular that it has, an actively beg, it has to actively beg its users to log off. Through an account called TikTok Tips, the company has partnered with popular creators to share videos that remind viewers to drink water, talk to their friends, or go outside, instead of spending another hour mindlessly scrolling through the app's personalized For You page. Meanwhile, it's also recently announced a new family safety mode that allows parents to control their child's screen time. In a statement to Vox, a TikTok spokesperson said, for some people, learning from and laughing at the TikTok community's creative content can be so engaging that it is easy to forget the time, so we created some fun reminders to help. In our new in-feed screen time reminders are the latest addition to our You're in Control safety video series, which can be found in-app at TikTok Tips and in our safety center. TikTok isn't only a rabbit hole of content. 
it's also a gateway to a larger amount of attention and possible riches. The ability of TikTok, more so than any other network, to catapult its users to international stardom is among the most compelling qualities. Its alg algorithm serves trending content to a uh, wide audience, so even accounts with a handful of followers can go hugely viral within the span of a few hours. Followers are racked up far more quickly than on other platforms, so having tens of thousands of them is relatively standard for anyone who's even had a minor hit. TikTok fame is now a common and increasingly attainable goal for kids, teens, and young adults. More than half of Americans between the ages of 13 and 38 say that they like to be an influencer if given the opportunity, according to a survey by the data research firm Morning Consult. Many high schoolers have at least one TikTok famous student. That's the thrill of it. Anyone, even you, could be next. Until relatively recently, though, that fame was mostly limited to the confines of the app itself. Popular users I spoke to a few months ago were primarily using their followings to promote their YouTube or Instagram accounts because barely anyone was act making actual money on TikTok. Then the brands came, and with them came splashy advertising campaigns and sponsorship opportunities that allowed at least one TikToker with about 4 million followers, they chose to remain anonymous to protect the confidentiality of their contracts, to charge between $5,000 and $10,000 per post. The highest echelon of TikTokers can now charge up to $200,000, and that number is rising. Last fall, a certain kind of TikToker began to emerge as the most popular and therefore bankable, and it wasn't altogether a surprising one. Users were seeing more dance challenges and lead, lit syncing for their on, whoa, on their for you pages. Suddenly, you were supposed to know the names of certain total normal, a bit thin, white, and traditionally average teenagers. Regular high schoolers like a 15-year-old in Connecticut named Charlie D'Amelio or Texas-based 16-year-old Alex French saw their following spike virtually overnight due to a mechanism that even they didn't truly understand. One week, the hype would be trained on one lucky user, and the next week it moved to on to another. Some of them moved out to L.A. for a chance in the entertainment and career and got lucrative talent deals. Most don't. Sam didn't. His content didn't match the new cool kid standard of dancing and winking to the hottest new hip-hop songs, and watching peers rise to stardom when he'd already had a taste of what it was like was difficult. I can see how big people are getting, and obviously I want to be big too, but I don't think the platform is for me anymore, he says. When he began posting in October of 2018, he says most of the content on TikTok was goofy and cringe, and the culture of virality as a gateway to brand deals and fame didn't exist yet. It's a familiar narrative for any social media app. In the early days, there's a golden period where people are supposedly there for the right reasons, where the community feels authentic and pure to the people who are a part of it. As more people join and brands follow, hoping for new customers and cash, the platform can start to feel tainted and mainstream, losing its edge. What is happening to TikTok happened to all digital platforms once they became important enough, like when Facebook was sharing bumper stickers with your classmates instead of threatening democracy. I'm so sorry. Hold on a second. <laughs> My bad. My sister-in-law is calling. Here we go. Okay. Sam isn't the only one to feeling this shift. What appears to be first known as Why I'm Leaving TikTok essay, Cornell software more Nico Nguyen published a tirade against the addictive nature of the app that begins with the sentence, This is getting out of hand. I can't let this consume my life. Nguyen downloaded TikTok mostly as a joke, despite feeling like he was too old for its base of impressionable middle and high school kids. Now, he argues, it's produced a legion of wannabe entertainers and influencers, giving the average high school student the illusion of a personal platform capable of launching them to TikTok fame. Even the kids who do achieve the dream of so many others, the ones who, who really truly TikTok famous, must then be ready to reorient their entire lives. Mitchell Crawford, known under his username at Mitchell, graduated from his Atlanta high school last year with about 15,000 TikTok followers. By the time he arrived at college that fall, he had 1.2 million, and he now has double that. Mitchell's TikTok fame was the direct result of effort. He'd hop on different meme challenges for months before finally landing a viral hit with a video about how sophomores act when they get their driver's license. 
As a longtime theater kid, Mitchell was always a bit of a ham, but it was on TikTok where he found validation as a performer. It was so rewarding to find a space where I could be recognized for something, whether you want to call it talent, entertaining, whatever that thing is that I've always had and I've never been able to express, he says. Maybe I was funny in a friend group, but I never could fully express myself in the way I do on TikTok. For kids who grew up knowing they were funny and creative and felt like few people acknowledged their talent, TikTok provides a feedback loop of endless possible rewards. The attention offers... Oh gosh, sorry. The attention offers a window into a life where if they try hard enough, they too could land a six-figure deals and avoid the slog of a nine-to-five job by simply hanging out with their friends. If that's the standard of a successful career or a good life, when it seems like that's what everyone else is achieving, most will be left disappointed. Mitchell, however, was among the lucky TikTokers for whom things really are working out. He's signed to Full Screen, a management company that's helping him land auditions for networking TV shows, and he genuinely still enjoys creating content on TikTok. The fame part is the less fun. It's very isolating and separating, he says of being the TikTok kid on his college campus. It's definitely the worst experience of my life to have people look at me so differently. It's affected his trust in people, too. He says that a girl he considered a best friend in high school, but who never reciprocated the sentiment, suddenly became more possessive once he got TikTok famous. And I was like, yikes. Then she texted me and commented on my Instagram that we're best friends forever. To see this change in my friends from back home and to see this different way they were looking at me just killed me. This is what happens to people when they get famous. In a 2009 study, celebrities were shown to experience mistrust toward others and a sense of depersonalization, leading them to separate themselves into two people, their true self and their public self. One of the study's authors, psychologist Donna Rockwell, told me in October that the effects are worse when the fame doesn't last. The only thing you can become after famous, unfortunately, is a has-been, she says. Then you have to deal with the depression, the anxiety, and the after effects of having lost something. TikTok's fickle nature and mysterious, ever changing algorithm means that there's an ocean of users whose fame and clout are fluctuating at every moment, and that new faces are always rising as others fall away. For the majority of kids who use TikTok for fun, that isn't a problem. But for the growing number who get caught up in a wave of attention only to watch it drift away, it can be devastating. I wish I never got this sort of fame, said Sam. It turned into a job for me, and it was a lot of pressure. But anything gets bid like this. It becomes less fun and more of an opportunity to grow a business and create a platform. There's no question that TikTok is now a viable place to grow a business. Whether it can remain a place where kids like Sam can still have fun without feeling like the stakes of life-altering consequences is less certain. As long as TikTok exists, it will be full of people making bizarre, goofy content, But for it to truly stay weird, it would have to depolarize the corporations that are willing to spend lots of money to advertise there, and that isn't going to happen anytime soon. TikTok is not the first social media platform to emphasize monetizing over maintaining its supposed authenticity, nor will it be the last. If the company wants to avoid the mistakes made by predecessors like the now-defunct Vine, It has to be a place where full-time creators can make a living, and with money comes brands that want to capitalize on it. It's easy to argue that this is a necessary evil. Nobody's making money if there aren't any ads. And a natural growing pain of any sustainable social media network. It's a turning point for TikTok, which a year ago was heralded by the paper of record as a refreshing outlier, free of ads, news, and aspiring models hawking SponsCon. TikTok has all of those things now, but it is still an outlier in the power it has to take talented kids and get them an audience. Like so many funny, creative people who take a risk only to end up disappointed, however, Sam has career goals now that don't include Hollywood. Before I did TikTok, I wanted to be in marketing, he says. And after this whole experience, I think that would be a good field for me. Okay, head back to Google Classroom for your assignment. See you there.